This vitamin is proven to help slow down kidney disease. This vitamin can remove uric acid from the kidneys. This vitamin can lower creatinine levels fast. Today, I will show you the easiest way to find them and take them from a practical point of view. Catherine here, I've been helping people with kidney problems for 10 years now and I've met many patients who were able to completely stop kidney disease. All of them had to supplement the three vitamins I'll show you in today's video. Yes, the vitamins I will show you today are crucial to stop kidney disease and to lower your creatinine levels. So today I will show you my very own method developed and tested over several years to always have all the vitamin supplements you need, paying basically pennies. People with kidney disease cannot take a regular multivitamin. Supplements made specifically for kidney disease are expensive and hard to find. There are commonly available cheap vitamin supplements on the market that can still be useful for those with kidney problems. But you should be very careful and make sure the supplement you buy is actually what you need. Today, I'm not going to tell you which brand to buy nor to recommend a particular brand. I will show you exactly what to look for in a vitamin supplement that's 100% safe and effective for those with kidney disease in stage 3 to 5. A very important question before we start. Can taking vitamins really help lowering creatinine levels? Fact, if you have CKD, it's almost impossible to maintain or improve your kidney function without supplementing certain vitamins. This was proven by several studies. One study in particular found out that all the CKD patients that were admitted in the hospital were deficient in one or more vitamins. A different study linked a much faster decline in kidney function to low levels of certain vitamins. On the other hand, when you find ways to keep all the most important essential nutrients in balance, you will be able to help your kidneys do their job much better. Some of these vitamins are proven to help you lower your proteinuria levels, some are proven to fight diabetes. There is also a vitamin that lowers blood pressure and uric acid levels at the same time. This is why the general consensus today is that people with kidney problems need to take the three vitamins of today's video. You need them! You may risk a faster decline in kidney function and many more nasty symptoms if you don't supplement these three vitamins. Now you may ask, can I take a standard multivitamin like those from the grocery store? While well, standard multivitamins are dangerous for those with kidney problems, buying cheap single vitamins at the grocery store is actually the aim of this video. But you have to be very careful. While taking a daily multivitamin seems to be a well-established practice for the general population, you absolutely cannot take a multivitamin if you have kidney problems. Certain vitamins can be very dangerous for you, even toxic. Supplementing vitamin A in particular has been linked to kidney damage. This is a fat-soluble vitamin that can accumulate and become toxic even if taken in the quantities generally present in a normal multivitamin. Never supplement vitamin A unless your doctor explicitly tells you to take it. Other vitamins that should never be self-prescribed include vitamin K and vitamin E. So, do not take a multivitamin that contains any of these vitamins. Let's see now what vitamins you actually need and how to buy them from the supermarket or from your favorite online store. This one you see here is a vitamin that all kidney patients are supposed to supplement according to current guidelines. It has many health benefits. It's crucial to fight anemia. It is a powerful antioxidant and protects the kidneys from oxidative stress. This vitamin was also linked to lowered blood pressure and lowered uric acid levels. This is vitamin C is crucial for good kidney health and since most foods rich in this vitamin are also rich in potassium, many patients are going to be deficient in this one. Can you buy vitamin C at the grocery store? Yes, 
You can generally buy vitamin C at a grocery store, but you should be very careful. Not all brands of vitamin C on the market are safe. Most brands sell vitamin C in 1000 mg doses or even more. That can be dangerous if your kidney function is impaired. The right dose is 60 mg to 100 mg per day. Taking more than that can cause oxalate deposit in your kidneys and even kidney stones. Be very careful, especially if you have a history of calcium oxalate kidney stones. Also, there are two forms of vitamin C present on the market, sodium ascorbate and ascorbic acid. They are not the same. Sodium ascorbate is not safe for those on a low sodium diet. Sodium ascorbate contains sodium or salt, which is known to increase blood pressure. So, what should you buy to make sure you are getting the right vitamin C? Find a brand that sells ascorbic acid in tablet form. Now, if you can find a brand that sells ascorbic acid in tablets containing 60 to 100 mg doses, that's great! But as you will find out, it's really hard to find brands that sell vitamin C in these doses. And many of them will have you pay a premium to get less. The solution? Cut your tablets! You see, here I have vitamin C ascorbic acid in 500 mg tablets. This is one of the cheapest vitamin C supplements on the market. If I want to take, let's say, 100 mg a day, I'll just have to cut the tablet in 5 parts with a peel cutter and take one small part per day. I use these metal candy boxes to store my vitamins, but you can also buy a peel dispenser very easy. The best part is that you are going to save a lot of money because vitamin C is cheap and a standard bottle is going to last years. Now, let's see the next vitamin. This is maybe even more important than vitamin C because it fights proteinuria, a marker of kidney health just as important as creatinine. This vitamin here significantly reduces the severity of proteinuria among patients with CAD in studies. Also, kidney disease patients with the higher levels of this vitamin are considered less at risk of dying. This is vitamin D. What many people don't know about this vitamin is that it's actually a hormone and that it's produced by the kidney. This is why low levels of this vitamin are especially common and dangerous for people with kidney disease. Vitamin D is routinely prescribed to kidney disease patients to help preserve their bones and kidneys. And this vitamin also fights proteinuria. Proteinuria is one of the most important indicators of kidney health. Reducing proteinuria means also improving kidney health. So, this vitamin is crucial for your health and it is also going to be easier to find than vitamin C. The general recommendation for people with kidney problems is to supplement 600 to 1000 IU of vitamin D3 daily. This is similar to what the general population also should take abate a lot less than what most supplement brands generally offer. So, pill cutting time again? Well, no, we aren't going to need that with vitamin D. Unlike for vitamin C, you don't need to take vitamin D every day. You see, vitamin D is fat soluble, meaning that the body will be able to store it much more efficiently and to use it when it needs it. So, if for example your doctor prescribed you 1000 IU vitamin D3 per day and you can only find vitamin D3, 2000 IU tablets, take one every other day. But remember to always take vitamin D in the morning and with some fat rich food or your sleep quality may get worse. Now, vitamin D also comes with a warning though. A recent study found out that all kidney disease patients hospitalized during the study had low levels of vitamin D, including those supplementing it. This happens because the kidney is the organ supposed to convert vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 both from the sun and from food or supplements into the active form the body needs. The active form of vitamin D is called calcitriol. Notice that this is different from colicalciferol or vitamin D3. It's very important to get tested for vitamin D levels before starting to take it. If your doctor refuses this test and you have diagnosed CKD, I've seen that happen. Have them write down the reason why the test is being denied. Seriously, 
request papers. You will either be able to report the doctor to the other or to get the test done. Guidelines for CKD patients clearly state that kidney disease patients need to be tested for vitamin D deficiency. So, question, what to do if you are already supplementing vitamin D3 but your serum levels keep being low? You will need a special prescription. Guys, this is out of the scope of today's video, but I've covered this part more in depth in my recent video up here and also down in description. I really suggest you to watch it if you miss it. Okay, just one vitamin left, maybe the most important one. B group vitamins. All the vitamins of the B group should be supplemented in people with kidney disease. Vitamin B6, B9, and B12 are the most important because they are key to fight anemia. But all these vitamins are crucial for your health. It's almost impossible to get enough of this in a renal diet. And they are all very important. Vitamin B12. Some people consider it the energy vitamin. Vitamin B6 is frequently too low in people with kidney problems and it's crucial for the nervous system and immune system. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin boosts the immune system and fights headaches. Vitamin B3, niacin, helps with cholesterol. B5 fights stress. B7 and B1 lower blood sugar in diabetes. What's the best strategy to supplement all B group vitamins? First of all, just like for vitamin D, B vitamins are best taken in the morning with food. Now, some good news. Many commercial brands sell B complex in doses that are perfectly suitable for people with kidney problems. But you have to be careful. Most brands sell vitamins in doses that are way too high and that may be dangerous. And while you could just cut the tablets like we did for vitamin C, I prefer to buy B group supplements offering low dosed vitamins because they are pretty easy to find and cheap. Here are some brands that have what you need. You may see that the dose here are very close to what you see in my table here. By the way, the Excel table you see here is available for download down in description if you want to save it on your phone for reference. It's important to notice that vitamins of the B group are not dangerous when supplemented in daily dose around the 100% of the recommended dietary allowance for the general population. Do not supplement B vitamins in very high doses though. Question, can you find multivitamins specifically made for people with kidney problems? There are actually some multivitamins made for people in dialysis. And while these supplements aren't usually marketed to people with kidney problems in general, they can also be used in stage 3 or 4 of CKD. The doses are correct and safe for most patients. But they are obviously much more expensive and harder to find. Brands selling multivitamins specifically made for people with kidney problems include Nephrom Vita, Myni Brands selling multivitamins specifically made for people with kidney problems include Nephrom Vita, MyProRenal, Renavite, and Dialivite in no particular order. These are supposed to be safe, but remember that they are not pharmaceutical grade, so just like for regular brands, I wouldn't really trust that they have the exact amount of the ingredients that they claim. I've talked more in depth about them in my video up here. Now guys, supplementing vitamins doesn't mean you can forget about eating fruit and veggies every day. The opposite is actually true. So, also consider watching my video about the healthiest, most kidney friendly fruits of summer. It's up here if you have missed it. And this is all for today. Thank you.